this hunt, this hunt, this hunt, the fit you find is. is. Alrighty guys, the first unique find of today's hunt. I'm out with Rob. Um, looks to be copper or brass. Um, this will be our Fitzy find. Um, it says Hildebrandt and the number four on it. Uh, Rob thinks it has something to do with fishing. But uh, anybody has any ideas, uh, let us know. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, another, what is it? Uh, it was about 10 inches down. This has got to be iron. This thing is heavy. Um, looks to be about, I don't know, six inches long, about two inches wide or high, and it's got a round hole in the center. Alrighty, guys. Um, really cool shell. Rang in at about, a, I want to say a 71. Uh, let me try to see what it says on here. I, can't, I don't have my glasses with me, but. This is uh, one of the cooler finds, uh, at least that I've found today so far. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll how if we find anything else. Alrighty, cool little pin that uh, Rob found. Let me see if I can zoom in. It says Longines, $65. Um, and then when you switch it over to the other side, looks like it clipped over something. And as you can see, our junk pile is getting huger and heavier. So anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, we still got a couple hours to go here. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh coin? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Anyway, cool little uh, toy. Bring in at a 55, 60. I'll uh, clean it up and uh, maybe we can get get a date on it and time period probably 40s 50s it's uh definitely my first car of the year anyway guys thanks for watching and uh stay tuned we're gonna go hit another yard for about an hour Alrighty, guys thanks for watching all right well we're back here the other lot just for an hour um and oh shotgun shell uh, rob's over there checking around those trees and I am going in this direction here. I've got the AT Pro with me today. And first target, shotgun shell. Well, I got the only coin out of this back lot here. We just were kind of cherry picking. We only wanted to spend about an hour here. But I got a wheat, uh, unknown date. Um, don't want to rub it, it's encrusted on the other side. I got it from a pile of dirt back there by the bricks that were brought in so this could have come from the road it could be just churned up dirt from back here anyway Rob's over there trying to cherry pick for a few signals and uh, we spent about uh, let's see uh, almost five hours here today between the two properties we still have to do that yard back there and still that yard and uh, we pretty much just cherry picked through here. There's a lot of old, old targets uh, just laying on the ground back here. Uh, I saw it but didn't see the top of it. But uh, this is part of the fence that the homeowner had told me about. Uh, it was a very ornate uh, cat, uh, wrought iron fence that ran through the property here somewhere. So I know that's a lot of the discriminated against a lot of the lower. I went for discrimination at 40 and anything above 40 i've dug about four small uh probably 20 gauge shotgun shells and then obviously i've got about three wheats two three wheats i know rob's got a few wheats but uh it's a good hunt today and uh we'll be back this is my uh, spot i've been hitting for two and a half years and now I'm starting to open up more properties around the around the neighborhood so this is uh part of the historic area and uh we're only about a block block it maybe two blocks away from uh, where the Battle of Gainesville took place so you never know Confederates and Union troops could have moved through here dropped a, a bullet here or there so never know thanks for watching guys